Hello beautiful people of the world, welcome back to my channel. Today, you're in my bathroom. <laughs> so in my last video, I asked for any ideas that you want to see next. And actually my sister commented um, on my last video. If you haven't seen it, the link is in the description. Um, and she commented that she wanted to see a skincare routine. So here I am now. So currently it's nine, 17, there you go. Um, and I've just had a shower, just brushed my teeth, and now I'm sort of getting my skin ready for the day. Um, and this is what I do in the mornings. So if you like to see more of my skin routine, keep on watching. Just gonna put my hair back. To start off my skincare routine, I use the Emma Hardy Morninger Light Cleansing Gel. This, honestly, I can't tell you how freaking good this is. It says it's a lightweight daily cleanser for all skin types, purifies and helps balance oily skin and hydrates and moisturises. It literally does that. It does that exactly. Um, I've heard such great reviews about it and yes, I am super, super, super happy. So highly recommended for that. For this, I'm going to pump two pumps, maybe three, on my hand and rub my hands together. And just make sure you put it all over the skin. I do this um, for about two, three minutes, just like rubbing my skin into it. I haven't got any makeup on at the moment, so it's not taking any makeup off now um but i do use this um to take off my face makeup and then i use a different eye cleanser to take off my eye makeup if you want to see how i take off my makeup it's a similar sort of process to this but there's a little bit more work gone into it um so yes, if you want to see a video of that, let me know. I'll probably do it anyway, but there you go. So I just keep on rubbing my fingers into it. And then once I've done that for a couple of minutes, I sort of not rinse my hands, but sort of like go like that under the tap. I don't know how to explain it, but just like put my hands under the tap and again, rubbing it in. So I'm really going into the skin, like into all the creases. Right, that's all rubbed into the skin now. And now I get a fresh clean flannel and you rinse hot water under the flannel, on top of the flannel, sorry. I use a clean flannel every other day because I don't want the bacteria to get into my skin again. So that's full of water now. Um, and I basically massage it off. I'm really exfoliating that skin. I should have done a before and after. Oh my god. So that's all done. I like to fan off if my face is a little bit wet. Um, because I don't want it to be wet when I put my face mask on. So that's the cleanser done. That's really got rid of like all my dry bits on my nose and my chin and all that kind of stuff. Next is face mask time. So I'm gonna use the La Rouge Posi, Posi, Posa, oh, I don't know how to say it, but um, this one. <laughs> it's basically like a, a, a purifying, unclogging mask. I've used this for about two weeks now and it has honestly changed my skin a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like it's amazing. So I put just a blob like that on my skin and I'm doing it like a face mask. So basically rub it all on my skin like a face mask.
So I normally leave this on for about five, 10 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna wait for that um, and I'll be back with you. So it's been about five, 10 minutes now. Um, the mask is sort of tightening and starting, well, it's been tingling since um, I put it on, but um, that's a good thing. It's what we want it to do. Um, so I'm gonna get my clean, well, wet flannel again, run the hot tap. I'm going to just wet my flannel and basically just wipe it off. Right, mask is off. Now time for toner. So I use the Garnier Rose Smoothing Toner. This toner is the best one by far for me anyways. Um, it's not complicated in any way. It hasn't got any chemicals in it. It's all natural ingredients. This is the toner that I use anyway. Um, so I get a cotton pad, just like that, and I take the toner and I put it on the cotton pad like that. So not necessarily soaking it, but as you can see, I've sort of done it like that. And then sort of in like a pressurised, slow way, just massaging the toner into the skin so i've got a bit of eczema i'm not sure if you can see but a bit of eczema there which is not great I, I haven't had eczema since i was like 10 so it's been a good 13 years <laughs> i'm getting it back now just what i need <laughs> now i like to leave the toner to sink in first before i do anything else so i'm just going to let that sink in for a couple of minutes um, maybe fan it just to like get it going and once you feel like your skin sort of stiffening up that's when you know the toner's sinking in. The toner's sunk in now so I'm going to use the uh, the ordinary 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. This is such an amazing product. Uh, I can't tell you how freaking good this is. I know I've said that for everyone but this this little thing in the bottle is like magic. It's magic in a bottle, I promise you. If you have dry skin um, or like acne prone skin, this is the one for you, the rose hip, rose hip seed oil. This helps prevent dry skin and all that palaver. So I'm gonna use that on my face. Off. I'm gonna pop that on my face and rub it in. I've used this now for a couple of weeks as well and my skin has totally changed. Like it's more smooth, it's less dry, it's so hydrating but it's not cloggy, it doesn't clog up the skin um, which is amazing, it's what every girl needs. In the morning um, I normally go for a lighter sort of moisturiser so the so my makeup doesn't like cake up or anything. Um, so the moisturiser that I'm going to use is the Botanics um, All Bright Day Cream, Hydrating Day Cream um, with hibiscus in it. It's got SPF 15 in it, it's not, um, it's not like a thick moisturiser, it's sort of liquidy. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's it's not like cloggy in any way. Um, so I just put a little bit on my finger and gently massage the moisturiser in. You have to wait at least 15 to sort of 20 minutes before putting makeup on. Yes, that is my skin. <laughs> Very happy. Very happy. Oh my God goodness i hope you liked the video guys if you did please give this video a thumbs up um this honestly is my go-to routine so if you want any of the products um that i use during this video everything will be in the description below um comment down below if you want to see like a sort of like a nighttime routine sort of taking my makeup off and seeing that routine that's sort of a slightly different um regime um 
just because I used a little bit more product and it's night time so I want everything to sink in during that time. But yes, if you want to see that video, comment down below if you do. Um, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Um, and yes, I will see you guys with another video next week. Bye.